What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux. Okay, so today's video, we're gonna be talking about James Charles. Wait, see the vent? There's a vent up here. I don't wanna offend the vent community on YouTube. So I'm gonna, there we go, okay, there we go. All right, so we're gonna be talking about the James Charles drama and what has happened. It's been like 24 hours later and he hasn't said anything. Before we get into that, I wanna share. So I know a really, really good person. Her name is Vanessa and we hung out recently at Nick Snyder's birthday. I almost like, I almost killed her. I feel so bad, like, you know, I feel so bad because, okay, so what happened was I, me and Dustin had pissed in to get Nick this cake, right? Cut the cake, right? So I was like, here, Vanessa, you want a piece? And she was like, no, girl, I wanna die at the house. And I was like, just a little piece. It was like that much. So I like spoon fed her and then and she was like, girl, I, like, I feel weird. And she's like, does it have this in it? And I was like, I don't know. And then she was like, I think it does. So she had like, an allergic reaction. And I got like really scared. It's like, I think her tongue had swelled up or something. So she sat down and chilled. Anyways, I had laid on the couch with her just until like she felt good enough. And like finally I like, felt good enough to go upstairs and lay down. I was like, oh my God. I was like, so scared. I, I had no idea she was allergic. You know what I'm saying? Like anyways, I, I just wanna say, I'll pause the ICU again. But I'm bringing her up because she has uh, like a medical issue and she's like a really, really, really good person. And I wanna dedicate this portion of the video to her because I just don't like to see bad stuff happen to good people. So she needs a few coins to cover her surgery. So I'm gonna put her GoFundMe down below. And I would really, really appreciate if us here at Rich Lux could donate and give her something so she can meet her goal and get her surgery. Put the information down below so you can check it out and read it for yourself. I know a situation like this can always be kind of like, if this is a scam, like no, this is 100% real. She's, she's a legit person and a very good one at that. And I just love her so much. So I hope she gets the surgery and I hope she gets the money so she can get it corrected. All right, here we go. <sighs> okay, so before you judge me, I just wanna say, I went to Karl Lagerfeld. You know, guys, I love freaking Karl Lagerfeld parrots. And I saw this bag online and I was like, I really, I really like the bag. I really want to get it. So I ordered it. It came super quick. And okay, so here's the first part. So it has like these really heavy, heavy, heavy straps, okay? Then this is the bag. It's like, it's see-through. And uh, it opens up like that. And it says Carl Lagerfeld right here. It has like this marble texture. It's super heavy. It almost looks like a Lego, like that Chanel Lego collection or is it Lago, Lego, whatever. So it kind of looks like that and it's like super heavy. And I like it a lot. So definitely, uh, yeah, definitely take it. Yeah, let me know what you think about the bag. I just wanna share with you like my new bag. Okay, so let's talk about James Charles drama. All right, so for those of you who are not caught up on the drama, what happened was he came out with some merch that looked like someone else's merch and then that other person put them on blast and made a whole podcast about it. And then he said that, and James Charles said that he spoke to them privately and then the other party saying, well, that's not really what you're saying. So, and he's not really addressing it. So he just kind of moved on. So James Charles is continuing to move on. He posted a picture of Kris Jenner showing off his merch and the flowers that he sent her. There's another photo circulating of Kim Kardashian that he sent her to as well. So it just kind of seems like that. I just feel, I kind of feel like maybe that was some underlying shade that, oh yeah, look, I got to pull these huge celebrities and they're showing my stuff on their Instagram stories and then yours not. So Paige Christie posted this. So why did they not trademark it? If it's their intellectual property, why didn't they do that? Because legally it wouldn't stand. They took the time to trademark the Teddy Fresh logo. So why not the color arrangement? Y'all in your feelings over pastel colors. Followed by, but then someone else commented underneath that and said, I'm so disappointed in some YouTubers reactions to this. Gila pours her heart out to design the stuff for their clothing line. You are about to put out a makeup line, love. You think you would be more understanding. Sounds like you poured your heart into that. But I'm taking the side of Petty Page because honestly, it is true. It's not trademark. You, it's hard to trademark clothing, but they easily could have trademarked the teddy bear logo and the way that the colors are put. In defense to H3H3, H3, and maybe in defense of James Charles, I'm kind of like, uh, it's kind of like we're talking about clothing here. But at the same time, I kind of feel like, what if H3H3 H3 is like, look, James Charles copied us. There's really nothing we can do about it. It kind of looks similar, but it's clothing. A lot of clothing, you know, the color blocking has been around forever. Let's try to like, you know, be upset about it so people can, you know, get up, up in arms and it'll bring more attention to our brand. Does that make sense? Like, I kind of feel like maybe that's like a little bit of an aspect, like a tactic to help sell more of their Teddy Fresh clothing line. But at the same time, I feel like James Charles could have handled the situation better if he wanted to. Because James Charles, I feel like has more clout, is a bigger YouTuber, so he can just keep going and not be bothered. But at the same time, he could have been like, oh, hey, I understand that it looks like yours. You know what? This is my whole entire collection. I'm just gonna remove this one. Is that okay if I just remove it? Yeah, but he didn't do that. I mean, that's something he could have done, but he didn't like remove that one thing. He just, he still kept selling it. It's still out there right now. But I just, I just feel like if I was James Charles, I would have been like, look, oh my God, like, I don't want any drama with other other YouTubers, 
I know legally they don't have a case here, but let me just be nice. Let me just remove that one hoodie, okay? And let them know that we're gonna do that, that's okay. And then just keep on keeping on. But the fact that James Charles didn't do that, it just seems kind of like rude, but it's not like he's not doing anything bad. It just seems kind of rude and maybe shows a little bit more of his personality on that end when it comes to business than like remorse for other YouTubers because he is a YouTuber and it is kind of hard as YouTubers to get your brand or your makeup or whatever out there. But that's something I feel like James Charles could have done, but he didn't do it. And I think maybe A3A3 was like expecting him to do that and he didn't do it and just turned into drama. But I do think it's smart that H3A3 continues to talk about this because here's here's the last tweet I saw from H3. James Charles, I don't know anything about your brand. Also, James Charles, I know enough about your brand to determine that my merch would not compete with Teddy Fresh. So basically, James Charles admits his team ripped us off and said it's fine because we don't have the same fan base or demographic. And I kind of feel like they do have the same fan base and demographic. I feel like they kind of like intertwine with each other because I know of A3's podcast and I know of like their YouTube videos. I also know of James Charles. But what I didn't know is I had no idea about this Teddy Fresh brand that A3, A3 had. I just thought they were just like YouTubers with crappy merch. But then when I went and looked at A3A3's brand, Teddy Fresh, it's really good merch. Like the website alone looks amazing. And then I'm looking at the designs and they're like, they did a whole licensing deal with SpongeBob. Like it's, it's a great brand over there. So all this drama did for me, and I can only speak for myself, is there was drama with James Charles and A3A3 over a, over a hoodie. But what it did to me is it made me realize that A3 A3 has an amazing clothing line as well. So now I'm over there looking at Teddy Fresh website and I'm like, oh, that shirt looks cool. That hoodie looks cool. I think I might buy some stuff from them. He says, when you DM'd me yesterday, I sent you the original photo that inspired my collection. Explained I've never seen your brand, but also asked what you wanted me to do. You didn't reply. After last year, I vowed to keep conversations private and create solutions, not drama. So, when I DM'd him, first of all, he was super dismissive and flippant and rude because my intention was to be like, I don't want it to come public and I want to talk to him first and just see what he has to say. And he was like, he's like, uh, I've never heard of your brand. I don't know anything about it and, and, uh, and I, I don't know what you're talking about and I already made it. There's nothing I can do. And he was like super rude too. He's like, why are you even messaging me? He said, why are you even messaging me? Are you just trying to start drama? Mm -hmm. But if that, if I was trying to start drama, I would have just tweeted and not messaged him. And then he goes like, well, we should resolve this in the DMs. And then he says, I asked what you wanted to do and you didn't respond, which is not true. I said, I mean, he said he's going to sell them anyway. So what, what is there to do about it? Well, but, but it's literally not true. He said, I'm going to talk to my design team and get back to you. And three days passed. And so I was like, well, he's just, there's just nothing's going to happen. And I have to protect our, our brand and your, your work because, again, he, he's going to sell a billion of these hoodies and he's just going to kill this style, which is our, frankly, bread and butter. I mean, I don't know if it's going to kill the style, but um, it's fine. I think that it was fine to make it public just so... People are aware, and that's it. Yeah. Just leave it at that. Because there, but again, his, you saw the 60 million people are like, yeah. It's identical, and that's the part that kills me, right? So, anyway, also, he goes, uh, he also messed, this is the part that I really want to share, but you won't let me. In essence, maybe that's what A3A3 wanted is to get more attention to their brand, and it's working. If this was a strategic thing, if him and his wife sat down and was like, there's nothing we can do, but just, maybe act like we're so upset, it'll drive more sales for Teddy Fresh or it will bring more attention to our brand. And I think that's what happened and I think it's working because now I'm interested in Teddy Fresh, I like the logos. James Charles, on the other hand, has not said anything publicly about it, like on an Instagram story, he hasn't like said anything. I think he's just gonna keep going. He's not bothered, he's gonna keep doing his thing. At this point, James Charles needs to maybe tread a little lightly because if he has that mentality that he's too big to fail, 
I feel like he will fail. In essence, like maybe get set back I and mean, he'll get back on again. But this is what happens when like sometimes YouTubers, they get too big for their britches, takes a dip and they come back again. So I don't know. I'm thinking like maybe James Charles, if he doesn't be careful, he could really upset more YouTubers and then he could put a dent in his little career. Like, I don't know. But that's all I want to say. Let me know what you think about all that drama in the comments down below. Definitely check out Vanessa's GoFundMe. I'll put it down below. I'm telling you she's a really great person. And again, I just hate to see bad stuff happen to good people. But anyways, I put it down below. I donated. I hope you guys do too. Please like the video. It helps me out so, so, so much. And I'm like so drain right now because I literally I feel like I work 16 to like 18 hours straight so I'm working on this huge project and I'm just like so tired and drained but I'm here and I want to send you guys some positive energy and love and I'll see you guys in the next video bye so much